Greetings folks. Um, I may have indicated in the past that my disdain, if that's the right word for it or not, caution with using aluminum for cookware, for cooking, for food. You hear the rattle rattle. Now this has got to be the most crude little, they call it a, a pot I do believe on the box. Okay, aluminum. Lightweight, um, I haven't weighed it, I could do that, but I, I didn't, okay. Um, well made little thing, I mean the rivets are, are done extremely well. Inside they are a little below the flush. Good heads on the outside, it's well made, but it's aluminum. Okay, why aluminum is, is a disdain for me. And I got reminded of that. And I'm going to show you as best I can right here. We have a very small label on our, okay, there's, there's the front of the box. So we know we're talking about this via, okay? Now on the back, okay, and I went and moved that. I, didn't, I loosened it up and then it didn't snug it a little bit. Okay, now up here is a warning. Okay, now, I'm not sure how well you could read it. Anyway, the bottom, the bottom two lines. Anyway, it says, pot not for use with very salty and acidic products. Okay, for them to put that warning, it's not printed on the box, it's a label. Okay, for them to put that on there, there's a good reason. And I thought I'd share with you why I know it's a good reason. It almost cost my father his life. Back when I was maybe seven, six, seven, um, my dad had bought my mom a set of aluminum cookware. It was an almost waterless cooking technique. Um, the lids fit quite tight in that, but with it, oh, and it was, it was all constructed out of a heavy gauge aluminum. With it was an aluminum pitcher. I'm going to put it as a quart and a half or so. Maybe it was less, maybe it was more. Uh, like I, was, I was a little guy that back then, okay? Anyway, Dad made a package of in this aluminum pitcher. He put it in the refrigerator to get it nice and cold. It, and he was going to be working outside in, in the garage and had a big glass of... and. It wasn't that long before he was being whisked off to the hospital. He almost died. The acid, there was an acetic acid created with the water hitting the dry chemicals, the dry powder. Um, I don't know what it caused as far as the name of the poison, I'll call it. Whatever it was, anyway, it just about did him in. If we hadn't have had a hospital right nearby, uh, if we'd have been out in the country where it was going to take 10 minutes or a half an hour drive or something, I doubt he would have made it. It was that drastic. And so when I saw that label, yes, that reminded me instantly, my dad's experience and why I personally have always hated using aluminum cookware. So I want to bring that to your thought. You know, if you buy a product that has a small, insignificant little label like that, that label, I'm going to guess that it's an inch tall and two and maybe a two and a quarter inches wide. The lettering, I would take it as a, probably a number 10 pitch font on a computer uh, word processor. Not really big. But that's the whole thing right there. Um, and for me, yes, with a handy little pot like this, when you have it with you, now I measured, I filled it up and into my four cup measuring cup, it's got a metric and SAE measurements. 325 milliliters is what my measurement I got. You know, I wanted to bring that to your thoughts, to you, in case you had never thought of it, 
never saw any warnings or yeah you saw them but they're like you know the warnings of a uh, uh, in, in a, a uh, instruction manual and it's got you know th three or four pages of warnings about how to use the equipment and, and, and work, working with electricity and, and, and on and on and on and too many times well like when I on the, my opening box opening video I took the stove out I checked to see that it was a good seal on the filler cap I checked to make sure the valve turned from stop to stop, put fuel in it, and lit it up, didn't I? And that's that's even more than some others I've seen do with a new unboxing. They've taken it out, put the fuel to it, and away you go, because we become familiar. And we can become too familiar and miss out on something as simple as a warning. Therefore, if you have aluminum cookware, I'm not saying don't use it. Make sure it's clean though. And I, for one, do not ever put tomatoes, tomato products, because of the acidity. We'll say stewed potato tomatoes. No, 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 no. Um, they don't go in aluminum for me. Never have. When I when I cook with an aluminum pressure cooker, um, I never did anything that had any volume at all of, of, of acid in it. And that's for the reason. And when I was done cooking, immediately it was taken out of the aluminum and into glass. So, there you have it. Thought for the day from Ted. Keep it clean. Especially don't let anything acidic or high in salt content sit in it before you eat it. Or even, I wouldn't even cook them in it. At 325 milliliters, that's not a lot. Now, I didn't compare that to, a, I'm going to say probably as close to a cup, maybe a bit more. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be adequate for a single portion mountain house meal. I don't know. We'll be checking on that. But in the meantime, I know it, it makes enough to make me a mug of coffee or my little... Um, uh, AeroPress or any of my other coffee making devices that I take out in the woodlot. All the best to you. You be safe. Have a good day. Ted's clear.